Welcome to your fatherland, kids. Your father bought this house so that whenever we decide to move to Nigeria, we can always have a place to stay. I hope you like it. Yes, Mom. Good. As you can see, the place is a mess and therefore we'll have a lot of cleaning up to do before I go and get the rest of the bags from the car. So, excuse me while I get the work into this. Put your bags down. We have a lot of work to do. Benita is trying to say is that we can't finish cleaning this house. We need help. We can't do this alone. You're right. You're right, Cynthia. If not, I'm going to get flu. All right, all right. I've heard all of you, okay? Listen to me. I'm going to have Friday 
place a notice and then you all will help me select someone who you think can work under my supervision okay okay so for now let me go and order some food for you why aren't you going to ask us what we want to eat i don't need to ask you what you want i already know what you want darling i'll be right back What's your name? My name is Doka. Do you have any formal experience? No, not a good person. Yeah. Please use the gates. Next person! You will not get that person of this seat for this place. Look at this grass. Hey! Use I the went. gate! Next person, please come in. Okay, thank you. We'll call you back later. Don't we'll call you back. Don't worry. That's the door. We'll call you. Next person. Done. Um, what's your name? My name is Joy. Do you have any formal experience? Yes, I get better experience for this work. I wait till they bore me for this. Um, we'll, we'll call, call you back, back later. Yes. We'll call you back. Now we'll call me back. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Don't, don't worry. So I feel good now. Yes, yes. yes. Next better. person. What's your name? Hi. My name is Naikaite. I come from a quiet on stage. My parents are from village. I just come to make a confined job. I try, 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 try. Today I tire. I never even get money to buy water. What my mind is if I get this job, eh, I will just pack all the money, go give them for village. Not be smart, you know. I try, try to see me. Eh, no water, no money. I just they sweat. So people just um, they thank like you. Eh? Mm, we'll call you back. You go call me? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. We'll call, call you back. back. I beg, I beg you on a number. No, no don't worry. Problem. We'll call you back. We'll call you, you call me. Yes. yes. Correct people. You say you go call me? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Next person. Um, what's your name? Badu. I don't know anyone. What's your name? Uh, my name is Caroline. You want to call me? Caro. Yes, you call her Caro. Do you have any formal experience in this job? Experience. You don't need experience to take care of people with the ass and uh, the ass now. I don't need experience. See, we can tell you. For my ass. Now let me do all the ass work. Yes. And nobody from my ass don't complain. Say, eh, Caro, you don't know, do this one. Well, you know, do this. Nobody, all of them, they all do okay. Let me get a deal. Most importantly, can you cook? Sure. Cook. Hey. Now me like this, they call on point. Yes. Any kind of way you want. You all call the name. You don't appear for your table. I mean, be that. You're okay, fine. that's very good. But if you were offered this job, mm, will you be willing to stay where you're working? Ah. Hey, if my employment people say I fit to stay for the ass, no problem. But if they still say make us, they come from my ass. I don't still get problem with them because 8 a.m. sharp sharp. I don't. Resume. In fact, before I wake up, I go. Carol, you hired. Huh? You hired. You hired me. And yes, you'll be starting right away. Like, like I I get the job now. Go get your bags and be staying with us in this big house. Eh? Hey, my children, say I'm not fine. You'll be like butter. You'll be like a uh, mayonnaise. You're not salad cream. So you'll be fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I thank you very well. Thank you. Now you have me. I thank you, man. Thank you, man. I hope you don't have any questionable character. Ah, I thought I thought you were done. Me, I did go show up. You show up, but I don't get that character. Thank you, man. Hey, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, 
All right, like it's I've shown you everywhere, right? Yes, ma. Great. As you can see, the house is very dirty and therefore you need to clean up as soon as possible. Yes, ma. All the working tools are in the kitchen right there. Don't hesitate if you have any questions, okay? Thank you, ma. All right. The kitchen Thank is you, right there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Nigeria. Just two days ago. Oh my word, this is good. And you didn't bother to call me? I'm so sorry. This is so unfair. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get myself together before making social calls. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. So, um, are you going home or what? Yes, I just finished shopping, so I'm going home. Uh -huh. That's good because um, I wanted to shop, but it's okay. I, I will do that some other time because I'm going home with you to see those princesses. Yes, they will be so happy to see you. And I'll be happy to see them. Come, let's go. Let me go read. Let me help you. Come. come. <laughs> You like it? I like. Thank you. Oh my god. Sweet, wonderful, nice, lovely place you have. Thank you. So how are you, my friend? I am good. I can see that. Yes. So what about you? How's Nigeria? Ah? Uh, coping as usual. I mean, as you can see, we're coping. So tell me, why did you return? Oh, it's Ghana not favoring you any longer. Of course not. Ghana is good. Ghana is very good. I just decided it was time for the kids to return to their fatherland. And it was time for me to also take over my husband's business. You know, when you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Yeah, you're right. So right. Okay. And talking about the kids, where are they? The kids? Oh, that's them coming. <laughs> There they are. Welcome back home. Oh, 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 thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Look at the baby of yesterday. She's all grown. Yes, I know. Good morning, welcome. You live in Nigeria too. Yes, I live here too. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they are so grown. They are. Remember how much she was a baby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just look, just look at how cute she is. Mom, we'll be now. Sure. <laughs> Take care of you. Yeah. <sighs> wow, right? the kids are growing <laughs> smart and brilliant. Of course, why would they not be smart and brilliant when their mom is very smart and brilliant? Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <clears throat> can I give you something to drink? Um, don't you have the house help? Uh, I can do it myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Ah. Why did that, that Auntie Maureen follow us in Nigeria? She will always follow us because she loves leeching on people. Why else? She likes to come to people's house and come act as if it's her own. The thing I hate the most is that she will come to her house and start demanding on what to eat like it's her own house. Anytime people come to her house, she'll say, sorry, my house is dry. Dry in her mind. Uh but I kind of like her shell. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like her at all. What about you, Juanita? I don't like her and I don't hate her either. Just 
choose one. <laughs> oh my god. What's that your house helps name again? Caro, why? Uh, you need anything? Don't worry. Caro! Caro! Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, I want you to prepare me fried rice and um, salad. If there's goat meat, fry it. But if there's no goat meat, just use chicken or oh, turkey. Okay. Uh, what a gizzard, snail. In fact, just fry all of them and bring it. I'll make my choice. Eh. Ma, there is no. Eh, no. You know, it's it, it's fine. You can go. Okay. okay. I'm so sorry, Malin, but you know, we just moved in and I haven't done any shopping for the kitchen. But I've ordered something for us to eat though. Okay, ah, you should have told me now. Yes. Ah. I hope the order will be delivered soon. It's alright, it'll be here soon. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. My friend, my friend. <laughs> See, you have told me the business and the family reasons why you returned. But the thing you have not told me yet. Is the personal reason? I don't understand. I don't know what you mean. What could be more personal than family and business? What other reason should I have for returning back to Nigeria? Okay. You know, the last time we spoke, you talked about um, remarrying. Is that part of the reason for your returning? <laughs> that. Oh. Well, yeah, kinda. I knew it. <laughs> but listen, for me, that is actually secondary right now. You know, I need to take my time to look out for the right person. And before I do that, I need to get settled in first. Okay. But yeah, I am ready to remarry. I know. <laughs> I just hope that my kids would understand. But you're doing it for their own good. I mean, they will not see the necessity of a father figure until there is a man in their life. You're yeah, right. Yeah. Get me. I'll talk to them, but I'm hopeful they will understand. <laughs> they don't have a choice. It's your <laughs> life, and you still have it to live. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> when is? <clears throat> when is the other coming? <laughs> Yes. I hope there's no problem. Um, <clears throat> no, sweetie, there's no problem. I just want to talk to you about something. Something very important. I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a very long time, but I just don't know how you would take it. Mom, you can tell us anything. Yes, Mom, you can tell us. Okay. So, um, I'm actually planning on remarrying. Wait, what? Why, Mom? Is it necessary? We're all happy together, ain't we? Why do you need another husband? Yes, Dad is dead, but I don't see what another man coming into our life now will do for us. No man can come and live with us in this house. So, Mom, don't even think about doing anything like that. Yes, Mom, I know how you feel. I know how you like going out with your husband, like most women do. But we won't allow a stranger to come into our house. So, Mom, if you want to go ahead, we don't support you. replace dad with another man. It's a total stranger. Someone who will come into our house and tell us what to do. I want to allow that. Come on girls. Don't you think we need a father figure like other kids? 
um, I, you know how I miss how dad used to drop us to school and not pick us up sometimes. And how we used to take us out for picnics too. Don't you think we need a man in this house to do all those things? Sorry, Benita, but I don't need a total stranger. I don't need one. You can go ahead. All the happiness I need, I can get that from mom and you, my sisters. I agree with you, Cynthia, but nothing can change my mind. I've said my own, but I just hope you guys can change your mind. I know you girls. I know you girls were not happy with what I said to you yesterday. And I'm sorry if I upset you in any way. Mom, you know we cannot stay angry at you for so long. You know we love you. And that is why we're here to make you happy. So relax, okay? Mom, thank you so much, my darlings. But, can we visit the subject again? Go ahead, Mom. We're listening to you. Okay. okay. You are all, okay, you're my dear daughters. And I've come to realize that we need a father figure in this house. You're all girls and we need a man to guard you rightly. Mom, I understand what you're saying. And I think what you're saying is true. No way, I won't allow that. I won't allow a stranger to be my father. Same here, Mom. No man can come here and tell us what to do in our father's house. No way, Mom. But do you know that when... No, Mom, you know we won't agree. Well, can't you at least just listen to what she has you to say? You can listen to her after breakfast. That is if she has nowhere going to. As for me, I want to finish my food first. Don't jump out from behind anything. Remember, I, I have a strong stomach, but a very weak heart. Hey. 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 Afternoon. How are you? Um, listen, Greg, I have a few things to take care of before we leave. So whatever meetings we have, just reschedule it for later in the evening, okay? Okay, Ma. Um, what about the meeting with the investors? It's supposed to be in about two hours. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, can you call them and find out if a conference call will do the magic? If yes, we can set it up here. Okay, Ma. I'll do just that and let okay. you know what we agree on. Sure. I'm ready. Sorry, girls. the man you want to replace dad with. Will you shut up? Can't I hold a meeting with a man? You know what? You're going to follow me to my office and then you will ask each and every man I work with if they are the one I'm replacing. The man I came here with is my personal assistant. His name is Greg. I'm so sorry. 
I'm honestly very sorry I raised my voice at you. But you girls are pushing me and it's not right. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me. There is a guy I want you to meet. I have arranged for the both of you to have dinner together. Maureen, how have you arranged for me to have dinner with a guy I don't even know? When I didn't tell you to do any such thing. Uh, oh no, what's wrong with that? I'm your friend. I just want you to be happy. I don't know. I still haven't been able to convince my children on the subject. I don't... I honestly don't think I, 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 I'm ready. I didn't say you should do something with him. I didn't say you should have something to do with him. Just have dinner with him, and with time, you get to know him better. That's all. I mean, it's not like I'm... It's okay. I will go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll be there too. Of course, I'll be there. If I won't be there, how will you get to meet him? That's true. Just calm down. Okay. Leave this to me. I got this. I know you got this. <laughs> so what does he look like? Oh, he's cute. Him, he's a little bit bald. Oh, he's bald-headed. Yeah, really? he's light-skinned. Oh, he's cute. Okay. You, you light so I can just ignore the bald. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys watching? We're searching for Lion King. They're gonna air it today. Aren't you girls tired of Lion King? My best, Mom. But, Mom, you know my favorite is Tom and Jerry. And mine is Pussy and the Beast. Yes, I know that very much. So, listen, um, I'll be going out for dinner with a friend of mine and her friend. So, I'm gonna be away for a little bit. Wow, that sounds nice, Mom. Such dinner is only for adults. I would have said you should allow us to follow you. Wait, you don't mind me going out for dinner, right? No, Mom. There's nothing bad in having dinner with friends or colleagues that you know. Mom, if you're not going to be too late, can you buy suya for me? Of course. Of course I'll get you suya. You like too much meat. Then when they bring you, don't eat. <laughs> Why? Is it for you alone? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to get suya for everybody, okay? I love you and make sure you don't stay up too late. I like this dress, but it kind of looks inappropriate. What do you think? Looks like a wedding dress, right? Yeah. What about this one, this yellow dress? Looks nice, it's very formal, very decent. No, mom, I don't like yellow colors. I mean, look at it. No, it looks nice. Mom, look at this dress. I think it will look better on you. Yeah, but... No, that looks like I'm going to church. No, definitely not. No. But this what? one, yes. What about the black dress? Try it. Mom, what are you doing? I don't know. It just, it just looks too long. No, Mom. It's the best dress to wear for a dinner. I mean, it's almost how it makes you look sexy. Really? <laughs> the last thing I want to do is to look sexy. So, are you saying Mrs. K.I.A. No, we don't want. You can call me whatever you want to call me. All I know, it looks beautiful and more, like Benita said. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Thank you for making me, for getting me the best choice. Thank you. Black it is. <laughs> So, 
that was how Bob and I became friends. Wow. <laughs> That's an interesting story. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, us way back. I told him already, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, um, I see you, my boss. Okay, uh, hello, sir. Yes. Yes, I have the files. Uh, they're at home. Okay, I will just um, leave where I am and go home, pick the files, come meet you wherever you are and give it to you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, are you okay? My boss just called. He's traveling tomorrow morning. And he needs the files he gave me to work on. So I have to go home, pick the files, and meet him at the address he will send to me shortly. Wow, I'm so sorry. I just, I have to go. Uh, you know, I don't have my car here at a drop you off. Oh, it's fine. I'll just grab a taxi and... Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll... Sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, my food. Yeah. Um, just make it take away. I mean to go. Whatever, on top of food, they speak all this English. Just pack them on my way out. I'll pick it. Okay. I would. I'll be safe, huh? Yeah. I'll be okay. And uh, my drink. <laughs> You'll be good. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So it's just the uh, two of us. Bob, um, he is Maureen's friend, and by extension, my friend too. He's stranded, and um, I offered him our home so he can spend the night. Is that okay? Um, it's okay, Mom. Thank you. Um, I'm going upstairs. Um, Carol, um, can you get the second guest room ready? And when you're done, show him where it is, okay? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, Excuse me, I need to freshen up. What is it? What is wrong? You're the problem, Mom. Why would you bring in a stranger just because he's stranded? You don't know him. He's not your friend. I'm surprised at what you just did. You didn't even bother consulting us because we don't matter anymore. It's okay. Good night, Mom. But please, consider our safety first. Benita! Benita! Hello. So, it seems that our plan is going to work. <laughs> yes, I am currently in the house to speak. <laughs> Just leave, leave, leave that to me. Just leave that to me. You know what I mean?
morning, darling. Oh. How are you? How was your night? Hi, Mom. Good. Mom, we want to talk to you about that man that came yesterday. We heard his conversation on the phone with somebody last night. He said that he's already in our house and that his plan is working. Mom, that man is not a good person. If you're planning on doing anything with him, please stop. He's not who you think he is. <clears throat> is this your new plan? Huh? Last night you spoke very ill of him and this morning you already have a plan? I have known this insult in all my life. To think I was in a house where decent kids were reached. Oh, I knew better. Just little kids. Please, Bob. Bob. your sisters to speak bad about a person just because you don't like that person you now teach your sisters to lie what the hell did you learn this character from certainly not from this house and you are you both robots that whatever she tells you to do you will do without questioning whether or not it's right Benita you disappoint me Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Calm down, Help me talk to Bob. Um, help me apologize to him. They are just children. And I'm pretty sure they said that either because they don't like Bob or because they felt as though he was come to take their father's place. I don't know, but they're children. I know. Come on. Relax, okay? Just relax. I'll, I'll talk to him. 
Remember, I'm the one who made the arrangement for you guys to have dinner, right? I'll fix this, okay? But you just have to keep your children in check, okay? This should never repeat itself again. Definitely, it would not repeat itself. I already cautioned Benita and I told her to warn her sisters never to do this again. So definitely, they would never do that again. I, that I'm 100% sure of. I know Bob must be very angry with you right now, but I'll talk to him. It's okay. Just chill, okay? Relax. He left the house really upset. Like, you should have just left. Just don't, don't worry. I'll fix it. Trust me, I'm, I'm the fixer. Okay. You know what I can do, right? Just relax, okay? Shut up. Oh, he was very upset when he left the house. Yeah. The kid say. Um, and I am sending on to you. Exactly. No, that's not how the shoulder is supposed to be. It's like high. Uh huh. Exactly. See, what if there's anything wrong? I just my father will go and send the money. I will just alter it. Okay. I found out after that that wasn't what you wanted. Okay. Cool. No problem. All right. Bye. Yes, come in. Mom, we're sorry for offending you and Uncle Bob. I promise it will not happen again. We won't do what will make you angry again, Mom. We're sorry, please. That's fine. You know that I cannot stay angry with you guys for way too long. I just don't want it to repeat itself. I don't ever want to see you guys do that again. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Mom. I get up and... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you girls doing? I'm um, well, fine. Wait, wait, wait. We're sorry for the bad things we said to you the other day that made you angry. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> We're friends already. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, we'll yes, we'll be inside. Yes, we'll be inside. Alright. See you guys. I'm doing well, kids. Thank you. <sighs> so, you're no longer upset with them? No, I'm not. No. We are friends now. You know what? As a matter of fact, I should go catch up with them. So, what are we going to do to that Bob of a guy? Oh, Uncle Bob, can you see us? I came to see the smartest of you girls. Duh, that is me, Cynthia. Don't mind her, it's me, Juanita. Uh, it's none of you little chihuahuas. Little flowers. There's only you, Benita. You're the one that listens to other people's conversations and you run off to your mother like a church rat. Go and complain. Right? Uncle Bob, why would you call my sister a church rat? I'm gonna tell my mom. No. You're not going to tell your mother anything. You know why? 
kalau video mommy is gonna get angry because if you tell your mother she is going to make you and you and you apologize to me over and over and over again do you understand I just like you I like you too I'll listen I'll listen carefully to little mosquitoes you gotta get used to this face look very well because if you don't your mother is going to make you like her like fast and there's nothing that any of you can do about it do you understand I don't know what you want from my mom you're able to keep us quiet, but my mom is smarter than you think. Close this. Stupid girl. Ah! <laughs> you too! Stupid Hey, you. What are you doing? So thinking that way. You need to stop seeing them as children. Besides, what you're doing for them is for their own good. But sending them away to a boarding school has always been my greatest fear. You need your life back. You have the right to love and be loved in return. But with these kids around, I mean, you will never move on. They will keep making you hold back your feelings for any man that comes around you but first you need to tell yourself yes me sending them to a boarding school is the right thing to do it's a very good idea you need to say it to yourself say it to yourself and believe it okay. i'll think about it but i would need to speak to them about it to see if they would like it <laughs> no child would like it okay but you just have to tell them this is what i want and this is how i want it this is what i want you to do it's for your own good they will understand trust me you need to just stop babysitting them they, they are grown i mean they are big now i mean they are mates in, in lots of places feed the home you're in charge here they are not okay Guys, mom is here. Mom, are you okay? Yes, um, fine. Um, <clears throat> I've come to inform you girls that you'll be starting school soon and um, you'll be staying at a boarding house. So I'm going to go to the supermarket and buy all um, the requirements. So just prepare your mind for it. Are you sending us away from home? Even Jonita? Are you sending her to?
So, <clears throat> I hope you like it. It's okay. Bye. I thought we were going to stay in the same room. Right. Um, you're going to be staying here for now. I have my reasons. And what are your reasons? We're in the same house together. The kids are not around. And yet we're in separate rooms. Um, well, you know, Bob, there, there are some things one should respect, especially memories that have been I understand. I am sorry for asking. You have a good day, okay? For me, are not as strong as my feelings for you. No. Or maybe you just don't have feelings for me. No, Bob, that's not it. It's just that it takes a lot for me to get this far. It takes a lot for me to go this far. And with the beautiful memories I have of my husband. I oh, yeah. understand. But you know that if this is going to work, we need to make sacrifices. Try and convince her. See, only sleeping with Beatrice will make her committed to you. Or maybe allow you to move into her room. The only way to get close to our target is by living in her bedroom. But I can go into her room when I want to. And then you'll be in a hurry. You won't get what you want. Don't worry. I know what to do. And then do it fast. You don't have all the time in the world for to waste. I, I don't understand you guys. Ah, it's not like you now. Don't show my hand and take it.
Why are you holding back, my friend? Listen, you need to live your life. Have fun. Make yourself happy. You're not old, girl. I know. It's just... I think it's all in my mind and what I feel for. See, you need to let old things stay in the past. Even the Bible said it. Old things shall pass away and new things shall come. Bob is your new thing right now. Have fun with Bob. Or do you want to chase Bob away? No, it's not that. It's just that... You know, Maureen, I promised my daughters never to allow any man take their father's place. And Bob is not I... coming to take Andy's place. He can't. Just allow Bob spice up your life and make you happy. That's all. Come on, grab what's close to you and use it to your own advantage, baby girl. Stop dulling. Stop acting like one old woman like that. See, as fine as you are, you're just allowing this beauty to waste. I don't understand it. Hey, Carol, you let me go to the kitchen and get me. Three. I want to carry some of you down upstairs. Ah, okay, sir. Is Madame sick? Are you sick? Huh? That's your temperature. My friend, what do you say? Give me three days. That's me for this Christmas. Yes, sir. Hurry up now. Uh, Times like this, you're not supposed to talk too much. Just enjoy your breakfast. Oh, do you want me to feed you? Come on, I'm not sick. Uh, you don't have to be sick for me to feed you. Did you make this? Let me see. I did. It's bread and tea, but yeah, the, the egg. Well, I mean, I fried it and spiced it up nicely with some salt on the side and a little pepper to taste nice. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Hope you like it. I hope so too. Let me taste it. Hmm. It's really good. <clears throat> Seriously, it really is. It's I've never tasted an omelet this spicy. Spicy in a good way or... Spicy in a good way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it had to be good. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's... Glad you like it. I, I like it. Well, thank you.
Mm. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So how are you? Well, uh, fine. Well, hey, um, I'll be stepping out later this evening to see a friend. But I might play a night or two. Hope you don't mind. Right. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't mind. Yeah. Only that I'll, I'll miss you. Very much. <laughs> I'll miss you. Very much too. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna go in there and freshen up. Um, let you miss me while I miss you while freshening up. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So I'll be in the living room missing you. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> but just, you know. Um, um okay. Yeah, just make sure you miss me a little bit more than normal. Okay. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> Madam, the arrange for the jam are correct. Okay, we'll make it snappy because Bob wants to go out. Okay, yeah. okay ma. Hey, excuse me, ma. Madam, he gave one info me to ask me a young you. Are you upset you know a vest for me? What is it? Yeah. Madam, as I they clean your room, your bathroom, eh, I can't see say bros Bob, you won't enter your room. What they search for something? I don't know what they search for. You carry file, you open up, you read this one, you close them. You they search everywhere. Uh, Madam, last last, I could see say you open drawer, you could collect that money where you keep there for house shopping. Are you sure of what you're saying? <sighs> Madam, I sure pass anything for this one. I did on point for this one. In fact, I feel you might leave her bet this one. I sure where where. Today, today, my level don't change. My level don't change. My level don't change. So tell me, how come the money is still here? Ma, truth to God. I know you know how the money take come back there. Because I feel to swear with my liver say, I see how when he moved the money. Carol, let this be the last time you will try something like this. Be warned. Get out of my room. Well, how come now? Nah? This you say I see and carry that money. Hey, now when he come go return now? Now when he drop her? That's just a mystery. So you think you would open your cockroach mouth? And my plans would just go to waste like that? Boss, you see the chat talk. Shut up! You saw me take that money. And you rushed to your madam to tell her, right? But one thing you did not put into consideration is what you were dealing with. Look at me. Always going one step ahead.
shocked. Oh, so you thought the money just reappeared just like that? <laughs> now listen and listen really good. I am not someone to toil with. One advice. Keep yourself and your nose away from anything that concerns me. Else, I will get you out of this house just the way I got the keys out. Bros, I dare you mash line no. You want mash line for that one no? You know your day on point. Because my mother no agree with you at all for that matter where you talk so. She sent her children to boarding house because of me. And you think she would think twice about sending a church rat like you away from the house? Use your kidney. Expected by now, we would be swimming in money. But as usual, you are too slow. Too slow. Well, I'd rather be slow than slowly go to jail. That's the problem with you. You always think worse of every situation. You know what? I'm just a realist. And if I'm not careful, we'll lose everything. Then, Kukuma, calm down and marry her. <laughs> by so doing, you own everything. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Those kids. That they will just ruin everything. That is why I said get the property papers. Well, I still haven't seen it. So I don't think the papers are in that house. But find it. Find wherever it is. I don't have this patience anymore. I'm losing it. Can you go as a big? I go stand still. If you say you behave yourself by now, if I don't get money, and you always be good mechanic. I want to do this too. Nami be the housekeeper. Mm. Okay. I am Mrs. Benson, the mother of the owner of the house. <laughs> Male! Male, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Male, sit down. Huh? Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where does I keep her back? Uh, you put her for the first guest room. No worry, our coffee is the place now. Hey, Male, welcome. Thank you. Um, where is uh, Beatrice and the children? Mala don't go work and the children they don't go to school. I see. I can see that Beatrice is really, really taking good care of this. Okay, my dear, please uh, fix your room. I want to take my bath. Oh, Mala, you know get she kiss. Welcome, Mala. Thank you. Mama, well, well, welcome. Uh, 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 Mama, I, I hope Moto does not disturb you on the road. Uh, no, no. Oh, you yeah, are welcome. Thank you. I should be the one asking you that question. Who are you? And what are you doing in my son's house? Son. Well, Beatrice owns this place. And very soon it's going to be mine. Over my dead body will that happen? Mm. Well, it seems like you're going to be dying very soon. Because I'm going to get married to her and Andrew. I'm going to own this place. Marry what? Yes.
welcome, my daughter in law. Or should I call you Beatrix? <laughs> oh. You, you didn't even tell me you were coming. It's it good to good. see you. Yeah. It is good I did not tell you I'm coming. If not, I would not have met the sacrilege happening in this house. I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the man you're keeping in my son's house. Oh. Bob. Mm -mm. Wrong. Um, <clears throat> Mama, you see, um, you see, Bob is, um, don't even say. He told me everything. How you want to marry him and all that. No, you see, the thing is, it's like, I, I, I know what it is. That you're tired of staying single. After three years, just three years, my son died. And you want to replace him. But the question is, what is the urgency for? Is this how you love him? Is this how loose you've become that you now keep a man in the house to be servicing you while waiting to make it permanent? Okay, now that is very insulting. This is becoming very insulting. I loved my husband very much. So why are you speaking as if I was waiting for him to die and then move on with my life? Is that not what is happening here? You were actually waiting for him to die. That is why after three years, just three years, you're behaving and feeling as if you're a single girl that your time is passing. Well, yes, Mama. That is your opinion and you're entitled to it. But I'm a woman. And if I want to remarry, then yes, I have very limited time on my hands. And whether or not you like it, I'll make judicious use of it. Like this, even I see my madam want to do my job this night. Too. Have you been? What happened to your phone? My phone, um, network.
terrible network. Uh, what are you now here? Your mother, you know, right? She's a handful. I witnessed it. Where's your car? Oh yeah, my car. Um, it broke down on the, the road, you know, the high the highway. You know, so I parked it in the mechanic workshop. But tomorrow I'll pick it up. <clears throat> What's the matter? Listen, Bob. I don't, I don't know how this might sound, but you have to go back to your house for the time being. See, my mother-in-law is here, and while she's here, you can't be here. I'm just trying to avoid all that drama. But she won't be here for long, so once she leaves, I'll let you know. I just, I just hope you understand. Totally. Thank you. I understand, honey. But we can always meet out here. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah? Why not? Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> No, my dear. Okay. You can go. Thank you, one. Good night, one. Good night, one. Just a minute. My dear. Yes, ma'am. I've not seen my grandchildren since I came. And I know their mother is not in a good mood to answer me now, so you can tell me. Malen, I have to say you know. No. Hey, madam, don't carry the children. Go put for body ass. They did body in school. But in house? Yes, ma'am. But my son never wanted them to go to body house. How come Beatrice allowed that to happen? Male, if you ask me make a reason this matter well, <laughs> I will tell you say you get one guy away then they call uh, Bob Mali and be Bob Whiskey. Male. That guy I know you're pure. You are not pure. Me sure say now because of the guy, now madam carry those children go put for body ass. So that anytime we ain't come here, you go all get time with madam, do your day together. Me sure say now waiting for someone. Mm, I see. And Beatrice allowed that to happen in this house. Okay. I am here now. Let me see how those children will remain in the bottom house. Their grandmother will not allow any form of injustice to be done to them. Hmm? Male, Male, you're on point for this one, oh. Ah, me, they're happy for this way you talk. Ah, I don't miss them now. I don't miss those children. May you all come, may this house they bubble. Male, I'm happy for this one way you talk. Good night, ma. It's not good for us at all, really. At all. I wonder why we have to face, face one challenge after the other. What the hell did, did Miss, Mrs. Benson come out from in the first place? <laughs> you see the kind of confidence that woman has. <laughs> Her confidence is not here, though. But you think that she respects her so much, even as her son is dead. That was big trouble for us. Mm. So what do we do now? We have to devise a plan to get that woman out of the house at least until we achieve our aim. Mm. The only plan that we can devise is to get Beatrice to send her away. That would be tricky. You yourself said she respects her a lot, so what makes you think she would listen to me this time? She's been listening to you all this while. Well. So I believe she would still listen to you again. Ah, <sighs> okay. 
with the level of work I'm doing in this business, my share will increase. My will be packs now. To no longer be 60 40, to now be 30 70. I'll take the lion's share. That money is more. Eh. No, no, no. Let us get our, our hand on the money first, then we can now talk about all that nonsense. Okay. Alright then. I'll see what I can do. Carry the goat before you carry the cigar key for inside here. Pussy them. discuss with you. I hope there's no problem. Mm -mm. No, no, not at all. Since my arrival into this house, we started off on a wrong foot. But as a mother, I want to ask you a simple question. Okay, I'm listening. Why are you so eager to replace my son in your heart? Why do you want to remarry? Mama, you may not like my answer, but I will give it anyway. I want to remarry. Because I want to live. Since Andy died, I've lived for my children, for my family, and my extended family. Right now, I wish to just live for myself. The girls are grown to some extent now. So I need to start living for me, to experience the good things in life and the essence of companionship. Are you saying with Andy you never lived? No. No, Mama, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that while with Andy, Mama, we're focused on having kids. And, and when we were done and it was time for us to raise them, death took him away from me. Mama, it's been three years. Three years, Mama. I've mourned him. I've tried. I think it's time to move on. So she wants you to remain single just because she wants to preserve her son's memory. What's that one now? Well, I see reasons with her. Seriously. I mean, any woman would do the same if they were in her shoes. She just selfish job. And you should chase her away from that house before she will chase away all your husbands to be. No way. No way I'm sending her out of that house. She will leave the house when she decides to leave the house. And whether or not we like it, that is her son's house, and that is my mother-in-law. I respect her way too much to send her out of the house. Then she will continue to meddle in, in your personal life. What? I'm just saying, chase her away. No way. I won't chase her away. She would leave when she decides to leave the house. Okay? So, 
quit trying to convince me to chase her away. I won't chase her away. No. That is her son's house. Beatrice, this is trouble you're playing with, though. Fire you're playing with. <laughs> Your life. Well, three million is all I need, and um, in three months' time, I'll pay back its interest. Three million is a lot of money. So I'll try and see if I can make that available. But what do you need that money for? Well, I just um, want to invest in something big. I see. What about your job? My job? Uh, it remains constant. You know, but uh, my extra box on the side is hard to what we do. That's true. Um, let me see if I can work something out for you, okay? You should hear from me in a day or two. I love you. You are... Yeah, I'm just... So, have you eaten? No, actually, I haven't. You should run out and get something nice for you. That would be nice. Ice cream? Mm, maybe pizza. Okay. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, here are the documents you asked for. Good. Then the account officer is working on the money transfer. He says it will be, it'll be ready in a day or two. That's good, thank you. Then, if I may ask, Ma, I think you should find out what he wants to invest the money in. Why? Shouldn't I trust him? Far from it, Ma. I just think it's normal you know what he's investing the money in, and if he'll get his money back, with some profit, of course, or if it's just a scam. Scam? You think he might want to scam me? Oh, not at all, ma. I, I mean him getting scammed. These days, many people get scammed by all the scammers. It happens on the regular. That's true. I think I should call him to find out all the details. His line is not connected. I'll just call back. Okay. But as I said, the money will clear in a day or two. So I think you should go to his office and talk to him. I'm sure you'll like it. It also shows that you care. That's true. You know, I'll just use this opportunity to go and visit him at his office and um, speak to him. Yeah. Wow, Greg, thank you. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. I'll, I'll take my leave. Sure. With the urgency. Are you okay? I am. I'm fine. It's just I want to clear something with you. Okay. What is it? It's about Bob. Where exactly did you say he works again? OZ Construction. Why? Because I visited OZ Construction since his phone has been off. 
and there was no one by that name working there. Okay. I know him to work there. But it is if there is doubt, I think only him can answer these questions. Marie, yes. you're my friend. And I want to believe that you will not intentionally lead me into trouble. Like you said, we are friends and I will not knowingly put you into trouble. See, Bob is my friend and I like him. And I know you like him too. So if there is any doubt, just clear it out with him. Call him. Talk to him, meet up. He will clear your doubts. Trust me. Well, I sincerely hope so because I've fallen in love with him. Oh. Yes, and I don't want to regret my actions. And you won't. You won't. Is that why you're sad? Can you face like There's food in front of you, you're not even eating it. <laughs> my dear, let there be no waste since the Lord. These days you does you does not even send me again. You does not even take care of me. You just the phone busy, busy. Now for Muziri busy. Man no Frayo. good. Man Frayo, you, you do on point for this one, you eh? You not blame me. Since when Mama yours come, ha. Your food grant, your arrange yourself. Now so so work at the work, clean sing, cooking, all those things. Now they do. You not blame me. But you see, see, eh, 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 this mama, ma, mama, mama coming. I, I, I like him. I'm telling you, thank God that she, she, she come. Because at least that Bob Michael or Bob, 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 Bob this thing with that, that in three thousand was it? Afro, we had no day. You don't keep away for some time now. For now, we no go see him. Man, for you. You did on point for this one again. You did on point. Because that uh, Bob, Bob Risky, I've been a Bob, oh, Bob no. anything where you say name. Who gave a name? Risky? I don't know. That one. That guy not be better person at all. Oh. The guy not good, he ain't not pure. You, you see, you, do, you does not even need to tell me. I does not even need to enter inside to know. You see, that, 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 I does not even like him. He's very, very annoying and very, very pomp pompous. Pomp, pomp, pompous. Yes, pomp, pompous, pompous. Man, for you, I now know this English way you just speak so. <laughs> but wait till me, I know be say that guy. The guy way not pure. The guy all they do like snake. All they do conny conny. That guy, you not correct. Not be better person. I know, I know like him. But what I don't understand, women like this, they could just want to settle anywhere. They does not know whether inside the fire they are in, in settling or if it's inside the flying plan. <laughs> very, very sad. See, man, for you, me and you, the we say, go with your borrow, madam. Eh? Me go your borrow and sense, me go your knack and. One kind better, uh, spectra, 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 go 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 Me go your nakam sense. Me no say this, uh, uh, Bob, Bob Risky guy. Uh, and say the guy no pure. Say the guy yours come, make yours come steal, come kill, and me come destroy her. Women mm. like this, I, I, I do not understand. They, they, they just want to settle anywhere. They does not know what is inside the fire or inside the fan pan. They just, just want to settle. They just want, want to enter. Hmm? If you if you reason away, if you ask me, Madame get three beautiful children. Huh? Ah, you know they see them. They are fine. They all fugue. They all bounce. <laughs> Bouncing baby girls. Now their head, now their head. They they, hey. they love my blend. They are the they all arrange. All fugue. They all bounce like hey. like ball. Eh? Three bouncing baby girls. Now, Madame, see the fine man. If you ask me, I just make your boom man, make sure they flesh alive, they go. Yeah. Make sure mm. they enjoy. Mm. No, 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 talk, no, talk that one. No, talk that one. See, marriage. Ma marriage is not only only about uh, about uh, uh, marrying and, and burning children. Mm. Yeah. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know that there is. You don't even talk about kiss, kissing and the, and the smoothie. <laughs> yeah. They, they call it a, a, a companionship. 
in confirm and that that is what I, I think that she's lacking now and she better mm-hmm, find that man and settle down find that man instead of using this thing come the share lamp oh, oh, from here to here no see that thing go there very very late <laughs> man prayo the english companion she always cut on my head all the boss my dad i hey. didn't give it to that lina man prayo man prayo <laughs> I agree with you for that one. Let me see. No problem, Sha. Me, my dad, yours take care of herself. Me, she, me, she flex. If you ask me, madam, still young, we not sure she fry. You're fresh and you're like to the bread. Not the see, madam. Hey! Me, my dad, yours package herself, where? Me, she, all the flex. Me, she flex. Me, she forget, man. You see, madam, madam, may you calm down and look very well. Madam don't even know that if they remove this thing where you see where I, we are now, give me a badam. Ah, no. To, to God, I go, I go find past, past Bobby Sun Kocha. Yeah! If you be saying that I me, mean, Madam, they find yourself, you know, go know because of this thing where I will. Sure! Uh, 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 stand down. You! Hey, my friend, you. I don't agree with you for this one. No. See all the other way you talk, you're on point. But this one where you talk so. You know, you know the on point at all. I know. Mm, agree come with on, you. Tia. Why uh, everything point, 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 eh? point? You, you be point thank you. You know, see, Madame Aside like Mr. Big's bread. You know your day on point for this one. Ah, ah. see, fresh, Madame. Fresh, Mr. Big's bread for a gege bread. No, you're trying. Eat with that. Good morning. What's up? Your ass will be the one up if you don't come up with good excuse. Excuse for what? You just went to OZ Construction Company today to look for you and she was told no one like you works there. But well, what did she have to do there? You told me she, she's not that kind of person. So oh, if you have left your phone on all day, she wouldn't have any reason to go there. Oh, well, I have family too. Anyways, um, you know I have family too, right? And I had to give my family time and attention. Besides, my wife was beginning to suspect my uh, my constant travels, and I had to do something to get off my back. Oh well, your few days of happiness are about to ruin everything for us. Not really. Oh yeah, I know what to do to get out of my neck. Not to forget she ever went there. Besides, she's into me, and she's dumb. Mm. For both our sakes. I sincerely do hope so. Calm down. I'm still Bob. <laughs> and she's already in love with you. She has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to order for anything? I oh, know, I had a shoe on my way here. Everything is fine. Well, if everything is fine, why aren't you sleeping? It's late. Mommy, man got up on You know, when a mother misses her son, sleep becomes a luxury. But when she misses her grandchildren, sleep becomes a stranger. I know, Mama. I miss the girls too. I miss them so much. You do? Yes. If you do. Why did you decide to send them to a boarding house when you and their father decided they would not go to any boarding school? Or is someone influencing your decisions towards them? Well, I admit that a few people told me to do so, but my mother, the decision was entirely mine. Yes, we agreed not to send the girls to a boarding school, but that was three years ago. Then they were young and not strong enough to be away from home. And then their father was around to assist me.
but Mama, he isn't around any longer, and everything rests on my shoulder. I can't keep an eye on them always, and that's why I had to make this decision, Mama. Believe me, it was very tough. But keeping them here and not having time for them is not what I want for them. Mama, they need all the attention they can get. And I believe that by being in the midst of other children, they will not feel lonely that much. Hmm. You have a point there, but I would love to see them before leaving. I know, and which is why I've made arrangements for them to be over this weekend. Yes, they'll be here in two days. Are you serious? Thank you. This means a lot to me. Thank you so much. It's fine, Mama. I'm just really happy I can put a smile on your face. I'm so sorry I caused you any trouble. I'm sorry if I misunderstood your intentions. I totally forgot. You're still young and you have your life to live in your own terms. I loved my son way too much that I wanted you to preserve his memory in your heart. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll never stop loving Andy. He was and still is my first love. I'll cherish his memory forever. With the children around Mama, how can I ever forget him? He was... He's my everything. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to understand it. Where the hell have you been? And why has your phone been off? Well, I... I had to clear my head and I didn't want to bother you. Clear your head? What are you clearing your head from? And what is bugging you? I mean, I've been meaning to tell you, but... I just needed to be sure you won't get worried. What is it? I'm no longer working with OZ. I resigned. Really? Why? Since when? About a month now. They don't give me what I deserve. They don't even give me credit for my work. So I had to resign. I'm trying to open my own company. That's why I asked you for the loan, three million naira. You know, I already have a contract on the pipeline and I just need an office space. They're not willing to release funds to me or even approve the contract until I have an office. This is serious. Are you sure that three million will be enough? No. But I had to ask for what I know I can pay back. So how much will be enough? It's too much. Tell me how much will be enough. Five million. It's manageable. Okay, I would uh, make arrangements for you to get five million in like a day or two. Okay. Are you sure I'm not stressing you? You're not stressing me. I just don't like to see you worried.
do I feel this way, Bob? Why do I feel like you're not being entirely truthful with me? I hope I'm mistaken, else this will not be funny. Been I've been good. I'm, I'm doing very well. But I should be the one asking you how you've been. Are you feeding well? Are you happy being there? Are they treating you right? Well, fine, Mom, but it would be better if we were with you around. I know, but sweetie, right now, this is the best thing for you. For us or for you? <sighs> Come on. Do you think I like keeping you away from me? I don't. But workload is so much, and there's so much going on in my life that I don't want you girls exposed to. Like Bob, right? Uncle Bob, you mean? Let's not talk about it. We're here to spend the weekend, and we can as well have fun and then go back to school. Exactly. That's what I want to hear. Let's just not talk about this, and let's just have a good time. Come and hug mommy. Oh, my favorite girls in the whole world. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> oh my, you girls have a way of reminding me of my childhood. Oh! Oh my darling. <laughs> you always find a way to make us happy. Oh. We love your grandma. And I love you girls too. We miss you a lot, especially since we got back. I understand. It's about your mother. Not to worry. She's a smart person. She will find a way. I hope that happens soon. I have faith in her. We do, but... No buts, my darling. We're not here to discuss your mother. I'm here to tell you girls your favorite bedtime stories. Yay! Okay, once upon a time in a faraway land. Come in, the door is not locked. Good evening. Greg. Is there a problem? My just. A little problem, but if not handled well, you blow up in your face. What is it? I I ran into an old schoolmate of mine yesterday. It happened that he works with OZ. He has been working with OZ for over eight years now. I tried finding out if he knows Bob, but he said no one by that name works at OZ. I showed him Bob's pictures and he doesn't know him. Are you trying to tell me that I'm being deceived? Yes, ma'am. So because your friend told you this, I'm supposed to believe it? Not exactly, but I just thought you should know about it. Greg, what you're saying holds no water. No, please. You know what, it's... Just go. Just, just leave. This is why you came here?
<laughs> what are you girls doing? I'm trying to prepare something for grandma. Grandma. I see. So nobody thought about me. We did, but we don't know if you will like it. Oh, come on, girls. You know I would love whatever you made for me. So why are you acting like I'm a different person? Sorry, Mom. We don't want to upset you. Listen to me. You girls are the most important thing that ever happened to me. I love you and I would always love you. So please don't ever misunderstand me, okay? We're not misunderstanding you, Mom. It's just that we don't know how to act when you're around. Baby, what's up? Baby, hey. look at that. Stammering doesn't suit you, so quit trying. What the hell were you thinking? That you'd come into my life, defraud me, and get away with it? What? Huh? It's a good thing I found out earlier, but even if I had found out late, I still would have put you in your place. You're such a cheap man. What prevents you from working and making your own money, huh? You claim to be a man, but you're nothing but a skirt. Beatrice, don't insult me. Oh, please, you already insulted yourself, and this insult should last you a lifetime. And you, Maureen, what kind of a friend are you? Beatrice, please, I, I just, I'm as surprised as you are. I didn't know that Bobby is married and a fraud. Like you, he fooled me too. Right now, I'm so angry at him. And I'm supposed to believe that? You're my friend. You should know me by now. There's no way I would know about this and let it happen. I just wanted you to be happy and at peace. By That's bringing all. this fraud into my life was your best way to make me happy? Oh, please, for the love of God, I do not ever want to see the both of you again. Oh, Beatrice, I, I didn't do this. So you're a fraud. Beatrice. anything to say to me. What can I possibly say to a loser like you? Eh? So now I'm a loser? Oh yes. You know what? 
because you are very evil. In fact, you are the cousin to the devil himself. Mm. You sat down here and acted like you don't know I am married. Playing clean to everything that you masterminded. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what were you expecting me to do? Take the blame and lose my friend? Eh? You too. You are evil too. Uh -uh. We both wanted the same thing. All we want is to take her money and piss away. So why should I take the blame? Oh, so we wanted the why? same thing and you couldn't even share the blame. You know what? I have learned my lesson. Bitches and witches like you are just the straight way to hell. In fact, you are the traffic order at Hell Junction. Hey. And you are the one that sets the oval fire. Nonsense. As you feel like this, you come back and carry your, your family picture. Come and carry your family picture. Nonsense. You don't just slow, slow, spoil everything for person, spoil business. It's okay, it's fine. Sit down. Cry as much as you want. I know you will not want to tell me why you're crying, but I know it has everything to do with Bob. You might be my daughter-in-law. I see you as my daughter. And I know you do see me as your own mother too. I did not support the idea of you looking for a husband before because I knew this will be it. Gold diggers will flock around you. You get confused and distracted. No, no, no box. Take your time to search if you want a good man. Marriage is like a non-stop moving vehicle. Once it takes off, it's off. It doesn't stop. And if you want to get down, you have to jump. And if you jump, you'll get hot. In order not for you to jump and get hot, you have to choose your vehicle wisely. And in whatever you do, you have to put the kids first. They are more important than any other thing. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. This time of the night, your bag, I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm really sorry to disturb you this late, ma. But I don't have anywhere to go. I can't even check into a hotel because I don't have much on me. My father's illness really ate deep into my pocket. Uh, I still don't... What happened to your house? The owners of the house, they mortgaged the house and told us to leave since last month. I've been trying my best to get somewhere cheaper to stay and at least manage myself, but it's not been easy for me. 
Um, I honestly don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know how I can help you. What I can do for you is you can at least spend the night here and then we'll talk more tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much, Mom. Thank you very much. That's, that's fine. Come in. I didn't know that Bob was married. How could I know? And I will come and do such a thing to you. It's not possible. See, I'm your best friend. I will not hurt you on purpose. Please. I'm sorry. Just say something. Just say anything. Say you are forgiving me. Please. Please, I beg you. I'm sorry. Please. Please, Beatrice. Say something now. But I think you should not have forgiven her. Miss Morin is not a true friend. There is no way, in fact, I refuse to believe that she has no idea about Bob's intention from the start. She, she's, she's back to mess things up for you. You should be mindful of her. You're right, Greg. It's none of your business. And because it's none of your business, you should stay within that limit. Water like fish. You continue like this, you'll dry yourself by yourself. Oh. Why doesn't she get it? Why? I don't understand. Why you not get with it? Madam, I mean, why does she allow people use her? Hey, but you don't say madam to the trust person now. Nah. Eh? Hey, eh, ask you. Now why the matter upon the pepper you like this now? Why the para? You won't believe that she just forgave Maureen today. After everything. She considers Maureen a friend. Maureen! A friend! Hey, will you not say now weakness be that now? Hey, you don't say, Madame, now where should they fuck up be that? Hey, you ask me, I will say, may we your help and manage this our weakness. May we come make sure say, anything with that Maureen the plan. Say, no work. She told me to mind my business today. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Mind my business. From today, I'm minding my business. You know resemble so for my eye. Do you you're the para? You know resemble so say you won't mind your business. Eh, oh last last, if you say you won't mind your business, you'll do on point. But if you stick on this, I say no mind your business. Ah, you know the on point for that one. Why 
of this now. Don't know finish what I finish. Don't finish and I'm not to put this one back. Something wrong with your car? Yeah, it won't start. And I've been trying to call my mechanic, but he's not picking up his phone. Should I take a look at it? Are you a mechanic? Do I have to be one to know about cars? No. Can I? is working now. Uh, he can take you around for today but you still need to take it to the mechanic to change a few things. Yeah. Well thank you so much. I really appreciate it's, it. It's, it's okay. Wow. You know what? Um, Benton. Right. Marvin. Very nice to meet you, Marvin. Um, I would love to see you again. Would you come by my office sometime? Why? <laughs> no reason. I just would love to see you again. All right, then I'll stop by. Me to come here. Well, <clears throat> first off, to thank you for the other day, and um, I want to ask you, what do you do for a living? Okay, um, there's really nothing to thank me about, and uh, what I do for a living, I do nothing. I'm just looking for money to set up my own pharmacy. Pharmacy? Is that what you studied? Yeah, that was what I studied and I, I served someone for seven years, but he left me empty-handed. Wow. Mm. So heartlessness still exists. Hmm? So now that you don't have money to start up this business of yours, what do you intend to do? I don't know. I'll just figure it out. How then did you know about cars? Hmm. Whew, cars. You know, from time to time I walk at a friend's garage that's able to put food on the table for now until I find out what I'm going to do with myself. Okay, um, Marvin. Marvin, right? Yeah, Marvin. Okay. 
So Marvin, if I offered you a job in this company, would you take it? <laughs> Honestly, I I won't. I, I won't take it because it's just gonna keep me too busy from pursuing my dreams, you know. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go. We're Yeah, sure. Um, can you wait for me in the car? I need to quickly grab something. Okay, okay. but please don't do that. I won't. Just hurry up. Hurry. Was that Maureen's voice I just heard? Yes, uh, Maureen, my friend. You still keep her as a friend after knowing the history she has with your husband. Mama, it's a simple thing. They had a relationship, things didn't work out between the two of them. They parted ways. It's very normal. Yes, but not with a jealous person like Maureen. She's not a kind-hearted person. I don't like her around you. But if you feel she's not a danger to you in any way, then it's okay. But please be careful, okay? Calm down, Mama. I'll be fine, okay? You take right. care. You too. Bye. Take care. Right. Bye. He's one of these independent kind of guys, you know? And he's cute too. Oh, it treats. <laughs> you mean with what just happened with Bob? You still want to go into another relationship? Blindly. And so soon too. Mm -hmm. Please, come on. Marie, who's talking about going into a relationship so soon? I'm only talking about the goodness of his heart, that's all. I hope that is just it. Because from the description you gave about this Marvin guy, I see another goldy guy in the pipeline. Listen, don't worry yourself at all, okay? There's no way I'd have anything to do with him. He's not my type. I sincerely hope so. That's true. Yeah. You know what, let's just hurry up and go and do this shopping before it's too late. Let me put my shoes on. Again, ma'am. And why is that? Sorry, this is my friend Maureen. Oh. Hi, Maureen. Are you stalking my friend? I beg your pardon. What are you talking about? Why would I want to stalk her? Oh, so you can gather enough information and use at your own advantage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, honestly, I do not know what you're talking about, okay? I'm a decent man. And I won't tolerate you talking to me in that manner. Wahoo! Wow. Beatrice, you see? He's beginning to show his true nature. This is the poor fellow you're trying to help. And here he is, now he has the mouth to talk back at me. Um, Marvin, um, you really have no right to speak to my friend rudely. She has every right to speak to me rudely. Listen, Beatrice, I, I, I don't know what this is all about, okay? I might be a poor guy, but I have my self-respect and dignity to protect. I don't remember asking you for anything, and I would never do that. Okay, so you guys stop all of this cheap popularity that you're trying to gain. Now you're insulting me too? No. Yes. And I would do that again without apology. Listen, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about you. I don't really know you. If you want to get angry, find someone who has the time oh, for that. Oh, stop it, mister. Do you know we can actually get you arrested for this? Really? Yes. How are you going to do that? Call the police? Call the military? 
I will teach you guys manners before they even arrive here. When all of you rich girls thinking that you own everything, whereas you don't even own yourself. Excuse me, Beatrice. I'm disgusted. <laughs> ah! Did you see that? I told you. Beatrice, I told you. I told you he's a bloody gold digger. Come on, let's go inside. Can you imagine? assignment to find out all there is to know about someone. Do you think you can do that within three days? Who? Marvin. If, if I may ask, why Marvin? Well, I want to know him well enough if I decide to help him. Oh, okay, ma. I'm out. Get on it as soon as I get home. What do you want this time? We have to act very fast. Beatrice is falling for another guy. We must not allow that to happen. She must not find a good guy. And ever. That's my business. Uh -uh. Oh, you want me to get involved so that when things go bad, you run away and put everything on my head? Uh -uh, no. Don't tell me you're still angry because of what happened that day. So I shouldn't be, uh, be, 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 be angry. Why the vest like woman like that? Man? So I should not be angry. Eh? I should go and throw a party for you. You see, it's so funny how after everything that happened, you ran back to Beatrice like the good one, the innocent one, and I was now painted and labeled the bad one. By the way, what do you want from this Beatrice girl? You claim she's your friend, and the Beatrice I know will give you anything you want if you ask her. So. Why are you bent on seeing I'm happy? What is your business now? Eh? It's none of your business. No concern you. Let's just do what, uh, what, what, what concerns you. It is not my, bu my, 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 my business and I should get involved in your madness. <laughs> so you don't want me to know the madness I'm getting involved in? Huh? <laughs> you want me to get involved in your madness without knowing what the madness is? Look, look for someone else that will go and help you do these things. Or better still, go to your bar left. I am not interested. Bob. Okay. me. Do you know what you'll be missing? You will regret it all. <laughs> I would rather regret it than get myself involved with you. Yeah. Do and get out of my car, please. Oh. But me, Maureen. You're wasting my time. Get out. I have things to do. Okay. Please. Open this car with hey, me. Hey, 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 Don't spoil my, 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 See, see the gura gura where you de, where you de drive. I and, get out of here. I, 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 I don't blame you now. You now, Okada, you de jump from left and right. You de you, you, you I de rather jump from Okada than see. See, 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 You don't close the gate. <laughs> oh, come this car. Make I come up for here. Close deal. You de slow down. You can't buy a new car. You can't buy If I finish this deal, you go see the range where I go. Where I go pack it. You don't again. Now you go carry yourself. Jump from window. See him. See him. It will Gambia. See the nonsense. We go close, close, close.
from everything I gathered, he's a very nice guy. Loved by everyone in his environment. They all speak highly of him. He jogs every Saturday morning and works in a garage in his area from time to time. He's, he's the only son of his mother, who happens not to be in this town. So, aside that, all in all, he's a good guy. That's good. Well, thank you very much. I think I have all the information I need right now, so thank you. Thank you. What happened? You haven't visited in a long time. I was just giving you space and allowing you to decide for yourself. But this remarrying thing was your idea. So why did you decide to leave me just when I needed you? Why did you stay away? I'm sorry, but you are doing well. So what do you have to say to me now? You have been a wise woman. Let your God lead you. What? Where are you coming from this early, man? I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning, Greg. I went out for jogging. I wanted to use the opportunity to see and speak with Marvin. And uh, did you succeed? Nope. It's obvious he's still upset with what Maureen said to him and of course my reaction to it. He didn't even look at me twice. I can imagine. You know, he might be poor, but he sure has a lot of self-respect. Yep, I witnessed that firsthand. I need to go and bathe. I feel so sticky. Mm -hmm. yes.
Now when Madame begin the job in the morning? Since she decided to fall in love. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're okay, getting it. Wait, I don't understand. This breaking is really so I don't understand. Madame has fallen in love with this guy called Marvin. You know the funny part? Even she herself, she hasn't realized it yet. Hey! Hey! Hey, no carry me to you. You sure say this breaking is really giving me so? Now confirm you. Sure say they on point. Ah, but you said no, say I know the carry me talk now. If I talk anything, you go do on point. Hmm? How she feels now, eh? The feeling she didn't get for body. Even when she did with that, um, our dear Bob, she knew they feel that way. Hey, you happy for Madame Wu. Hey, I think happy for her. Hey, but this is Bob Brist, eh? No, obvious. This is a guy we say they know the two. Eh? You should say the guy na better guy, say level pure, say they're okay, not be like that. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. This guy is a very good guy. Yeah. Guy, no, he's very, very good. I've, I've confirmed that. But the only kill every day that we say you know get money. Money. Yeah. Hey, money no matter now. Nah. As long as to say in love, madam, and uh, in a better person. Ah! The two of them they don't point for this one. This love matter with madam, you enter soon. Hey hey! They're they on point. Carol, for the first time, you don't talk like who gets sense. Very, very, very on point. Talk and well this time around. I don't like this way you talk so. Why the best? You can't talk with that one. Yeah, I was teacher of the knuckle, but me, me not the kind of me, the, the, the kind of thing. See, you know, say I be on point person. No, I'm not chop this thing quick, quick, now me the go your work. Now do you go work a bit? Eh eh, not go work. Be here. Now no say you supposed to even follow Madame good job. Me, you and Madame. Me, the protector of Madame. Now do you go work a bit? Eh eh, see that here, me the do gossip, gossip with me. And you know, go work again. See, Greg, I, I might be a poor guy, but I won't allow anyone treat me like a nobody. Marvin, I totally understand how you feel. She made a mistake, and she has realized it. Now she's willing to make restitution for it. But you're not giving her the opportunity to do that. See, I love your madam very much, okay? But a rich woman will always be a rich woman. I know my place, and I'm not about to give myself some fake hope. Um, Marvin, you're a guy with principles, which is a good thing. But do not let your principles get in the way of a good friendship. What do you mean by that? I mean, give her the opportunity to say sorry. Do you have a minute? What is it? Because I'm busy. I, uh, I have someone here to see you. Who is it?
first time I ever had dog meat sauce. This was what it tasted like. Hmm? Are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so not helpful. Where is from? Where are you from? No, Ah, okay. Do you have any experience in Calabar? Uh, no. <laughs> Karu, you'd be on point. Of course. <laughs> Take it's wrong of you to trust this guy. I mean, he looks like one of those people who will not stick to one girl. They jump from one rich woman to another. That's how they make their ends meet. <laughs> Come on, Marie. Marvin is not like that. Trust me, he's not that kind of person. I totally trust him. And you barely know this guy. He could be a fraud, or a cheat, or even both. Well, he's neither. I know what I'm saying. I can read through him. But if you dance me, no problem. It's okay. You just wait until I get all the food to shut you up. Till then. So tell me, what I'm going to do on this? Defamed. So you still haven't told me what we are doing here today. I mean, we could have had this dinner at yours. Besides, the food Carol cooks is way better than this one. That's true. But I wouldn't have been able to say what I want to say at home. And that's why I chose this place. Say what exactly? How I feel. About? You. I don't get it. Right. Okay, listen, uh, Marvin. I'm a very straightforward person, and I know that it is not in a woman's place to tell a man how she feels about him or ask him out. But I do like you a lot. And... I want to ask you to be in a relationship with me. However, you can say no. It's okay, but just whatever it is, don't regard me as a loose woman. <laughs> uh, 
Well, if you hadn't said anything, I still would have asked you. And yes, I do not see you as a loose woman. And in fact, I have more respect for you. Because you know what you want and you go after it. Wait, are you saying? Yes. I like you a lot too. And I want to be in a relationship with you. It's not a fling. Fling is body and serious. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay, girls, he's not a rich guy, but I like him very much. So I don't want you to create any drama for me, okay? Don't worry, Mom. We won't create any drama. We just want to meet him, please. Yeah, we do see you like him a lot. We just want to know whether he's a nice guy or not. That's all we want. <laughs> then try me. Girls, this is Uncle Marvin. Aren't you gonna hug an uncle? <laughs> hey girls, come on, you have to smile. Or do you want me to cry instead? Okay. <laughs> so I see you girls have been asking your mom a lot of questions. So here I am, threw them at me instead. Are you sure? Sure of what? Do you love my mom or you like her? Whoa. <laughs> you know, for a first question, I think that's rather too tough. Answer the question, do you? Hmm. Yes. Yes to what? Yes to I love her and I like her. Oh wow. <laughs> That's cheating. Whoa. Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll continue, please. Continue what you guys have to do to bed. Just one story. Alright, I'm gonna finish this chapter. And after that, you guys have to go to sleep. Okay? Mm. <laughs> Alright. The creature was standing straight on two legs and started singing and running around the farm. Ghost is here, you either run or die. Ghost is here, you either run or die. I will swallow you whole. He then picked up a garden egg and swallowed it whole. Monkey had heard of ghosts a lot of times, but he had never seen one before that day. He was very afraid. And the monkey said, Hey, war. <laughs> I want to wait for this ghost to swallow me whole. Should I die now? No way. He then started running. But a greedy rabbit laughed at the running monkey and then entered the farm. He stole all the crops he wanted and took them away in his sack, which he carried on his back. Good night. Aww. It's late, you have to sleep, all right? Okay. Good night, lovelies. Won't you hug me before you go to bed? What's the secret? Are you hiding anything? No, mom, you're the one hiding something. <laughs> Me? I'm not hiding anything. Why would I hide anything from you? You introduced Marvin as your friend yesterday. So why are you not hiding something from us? But Marvin is just my friend. Mom, I know you're not going to tell us the truth. But we kind of like him. <laughs> <laughs> 
are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, I don't have much time. Um, I have a meeting with my boss in an hour's time. So okay. I don't know how long the meeting is going to last. Yeah. So that's why I said, let me just come drop this before I go. Open it for yourself and see the content in it. So that next time when I talk, you believe me. I don't understand. What is this all this? Just open it and see for yourself. You see? Wait. What is this? <sighs> How did you get this? Doesn't matter. Um, I have to rush for the meeting, okay? I I'll see you at home, okay? Um, just take it easy. I mean, I, I didn't want to bring this ball. She wanted proof. This is it. Just Take it easy, okay? Then you just don't think about it too much. Just, just go. Uh, I love you, okay? Just come on, don't, don't worry, okay? Uh, hey, Beatrice, come on, love. I, I love you. Just take it, take it easy, okay? What are you doing here? I thought I said I was going to come check up on you when I finish cutting my hair. What the hell is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Why confess what you don't feel? Marvin, I thought you were different. I thought you were different than the rest of the men in the street, but no, you're the exact same. I can't believe I fell for you. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. I'm so ashamed of you. You know, we're done. See, Greg, I don't know how she got those pictures. But I, 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 I can't even remember anything. See, I, I, I can remember that I, I went to have a drink in a bar. And the next thing I find myself in a hotel room in the morning. How, how do you explain that? I can't remember anything. I'm sure someone drugged me. They're trying to ruin our relationship, Greg. I mean, it, it's so glaring. Someone is trying to frame me up. Greg, see, you have to help me explain things to her. I beg you, please. Um. I've heard all you said. I'll try to talk to her. I'll do my best, but I just pray she listens. She does, bro. Come in.
What do you want? I came to talk to you. Talk to me about what? Listen, Greg. If you came to talk to me about Marvin, then I'd rather you leave my presence this very minute. I'm done with Marvin. I don't ever want to talk about him. I don't ever want to entertain any conversation that has to do with him. Anyone that mentions his name would see the beast inside of me. So now leave. Stop this thing now. Ah. You're the fair person here. I don't know how to explain everything to Madame. She has refused to listen to anything I have to say as long as it has to do with Marvin. Me, I feel say me, you all leave her first. Me, her temperature, you all calm down. And when she talk to the para for the matter. Let her show say she'll be on point to listen to you. You all wait. You all wait for her. But just wonder who is doing this to Madame. Who wants both of them to break up? <laughs> Which kind of yarn is the answer? See now, Madame, they do the thing to. I mean, our grandma, they do to. What do you mean? Hey, Ross. You don't know, say people are wicked. See her now. Now, Gamma Vina, they suffer the thing so. Say, because say, now they give something to drink, and now they also carry go somewhere. So, we don't know. Make her ask you. It will say, you die for that somewhere where they carry and go. It will say, it will say, they call killer. Pure wicked, though. Right. You have a point here. Eh? <laughs> no, no, say, I deal with points. Why drown yourself in sorrow when you can read in between the lines and get what you're looking for? Remember, I told you to be happy but be wise in your decisions. Search your mind and see if you took the right decision this time around. So what am I supposed to do now? Read in between the lines and get the answers to what you're looking for. Remember, Appearance is deceptive. Ma, good morning, Ma. Madam, move this for me. I see my yoke quickly clean it room before I come prepare breakfast. Forgive me, Ma. Carol, I'm not in the kitchen because breakfast is late. Yeah. I'm here because I actually want to cook for all of you. Madam, thank you, ma. I'm going to do something now. That's fine. I know my way around the kitchen. Okay? Don't worry, go back and do what you're doing. Thank you, ma. Go. Yes, ma. I know a lot has happened since I decided to allow men into my life. First it was Bob and now Marvin. I still have a hard time accepting what Marvin did. But I'd like to hear your opinion because I know that these guys are more comfortable or more of themselves when they are around you than when they are around me. Um, um, madam, um, if, uh, if you say make a talk, this this Marvin, um, person, I I do, I does not know him uh, too much inside. Um, but uh, if you say make a talk, I I I, I would say that he's he's a very, a very nice person. 
And he even get the respect for come on get the man. Like me. Ma. Why did they on phone for the matter where you talk so? I agree with them for the one. Hey, and I hope the priest they go with you arrest the people who set Ogama being up. Wait. Are you saying he was set up? Yes, ma'am. He was set up. Ma, Marvin went out to drink. And all he could remember was he woke up the next morning in a hotel room alone. He could not remember how he got there or what happened. All he could remember was that he was drinking the previous night. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. I confronted him and he told me this himself. He said he didn't give me a chance to explain anything. He said, if you take a very close look at the pictures, you find out that he was unconscious in all the pictures. The lady was posing with him asleep. Excuse me. To come and eat. I know, but then why are you not bringing me? Shut up, girl. I know, first now. Come this evening, go back to do one more gig. Make me not. Ma. Ma, I brought this for you. Are you done with the file? Yes, I'm done. Okay. Thank you. He said he moved out of town today. According to his neighbor, he gave out some of his things before leaving. Go. 
So you just do that say you don't see person, Abby. Because I'm not really sorry. You hear me? I know you hear you. We rich. Well, you know, say I know you care about you. Eh? I don't care about person like you. You know, just day on point. Ah ah, Ross. You know, be better person. Ele, you selfish. You greedy. You can't say center on top. Ele, you. Ah ah, who does that? Hmm. Now this is the way you talk now. Now you know, can't day on point. Ross, last night say you don't cut t-shirts. Say me, we not trust people where we don't know. Ha. Huh. See, I mean, I don't care what you think. Or what you know think. Hmm? But see, you, your madam, so often I suppose they more carefully of enemy where they be a friend close. You understand? Hey, bros, I don't understand this. Which guy is the Yana? Yes, I said you. You go hear what? I don't know what you supposed to do. I had like this other snail to this food. I don't understand why. Manager, what now? Okay, I get it. You're still thinking of Marvin. <laughs> Thank God Marvin is out of town and out of your life for good. You don't know what God is saving you from. That guy could be another Bob, or even worse. Men. Men. Hey! Like just wolves in sheep clothing. Over there. You know, for the, from the first time I saw that Marvin of a guy, I never liked him. Something told me that that guy is not the right guy for you. Well, you know, I could not say anything. Because if I had said anything that time, you would not believe me. Because you were in love. I trusted him. But now, thank God he's gone and gone for good. I'm not free to, you know, concentrate on your business and your life until the right guy comes your way. We screen him, we investigate that guy very well. Because I don't want this to happen again. I just like your courage of you know, moving on. Because this is your meat, sir. You know, we are a very strong breed. Very, very strong. You. You're very strong, you know how to move on. Because these men, they cannot be trusted, trust me. Okay. Uh, so, um, Mr. Curran, I've gone through your designs with my team, and they seem to like them. I know they will like it. These are original designs made by me. 
Yeah, but the prices on each design need to be negotiated. We can't pay such a high amount of money on each design. It's not realistic to us. I would say I'm not open to negotiations and even discussions. Great. So um, I'll have my secretary um, make an arrangement for another meeting so we can talk much better. Okay? I hope you'll be available. It's when you to call us. Karina answered. I beg your pardon. You're very beautiful. May you beauty is out of this world and I'll do anything to appreciate it. Like I said, I'll have my secretary communicate our next meeting. Thank you very much. Yeah, fine. Fine, thank you. No, like I I don't even know what to say. Like how how dare she? Um let me let me call you right back. Oh, so now you're receiving flowers? <laughs> sure, madam me. Hey, <laughs> okay, ne. Now who know me for corner? <laughs> Brother, do you flower now for you? For me? Yes, ma'am. Who sent it? I don't know who sent them. Ne, not they. I don't know. Hello to a beautiful woman. What the hell is this? Madam, I don't know who the person is. Uh, Friday say na delivery guy. Now bring a congate. I don't know who send her. Oh. I see. Oh, trash it. Trash it. Trash it on point, ma. No right to send me flowers. You're nobody or nothing to me. I'm a married woman and I do not take men flirting with me lightly. You were a married woman. We both know your husband is That late. is no excuse for you to send me flowers. And the fact that my husband is late doesn't make me less a married woman. Okay. Just, just chill out, okay? Just calm down. Please, just calm down. Sit. Please. Just sit. See, it's just flowers, innocent flowers. Why are you mad? Why are you so angry? Come on, tell me. Huh? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, I'm really, really sorry. I promise never to send you flowers again. Does that make you happy? Karen, this is not a joke. I don't want it to repeat itself. Okay, okay. Yeah, copy that. Yes, boss. Not a joke. See the designs. Mm -hmm. I think they will look very good on our Ankara. What do you think? Well, he sure has nice designs. Aside from being a romantic, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Definitely. I think I'll give him a chance. He has what we want. Does that include you? <clears throat> Greg, I am not a material girl. I'm a human being who's no longer interested in all of these games. 
I've lost focus since I returned. And I need to pull myself together and take a break from men. Welcome, ma. Thank you. Did the girls return today as agreed? Yes, ma. They did their room, they did sleep. Oh, okay. God knows the house needs them. I miss them so much. Yes, ma. You know what? Take a look at the designs. Let me know what you think. I need to check up on them, okay? Thank you, ma. Why didn't I see you? You always go missing when I need you the most. Please, come and speak to me. I need to ask you something. Please, Andy. I saw this dress and something tells me it is only made for a gorgeous woman like you with a perfect body, Karen. Bring them late. Easy say one man and bring her. Cause they can leave her for years. So that in the money I'll give you. I see. Trash it. Ma? I said trash it. On phone. Karen. Hello, beautiful. What are you doing in the office on Sunday morning? So now you're following me? Let's just say I care so much about you to know what you're up to. 
And of course, you know I can do anything for you. <laughs> wow. Lately, i become your favorite subject. Honestly, you're totally worth it. Karen, you, you've made me understand that you're not a gentleman. You can't keep to your words. Meaning? Meaning, you made me a promise in my office never to send me gifts again. But then I guess you would lie your way to anything. There you go again. I promised you never to send your flowers. I never promised not to send you all the stuff. Karen, what do you want from me? That's the point. I don't want anything from you. I want you. Listen, I said it before and I'm saying it again. Okay? I am taken and I'm not interested in any other man. Oh yeah, of course you might not be interested in any man, but I promise you, you will be interested in me. Oh, really? Wow. With a charm in your mouth, right? Watch and see. Today, huh? And they all they play the day happy, they all be on point. They on point. On point what? Are you stupid or something? Huh? Some stranger comes into my house and not only did you allow him access to my house, but you allowed him access to my kids. Sorry, ma. But mom. Will you shut up, Benita? Even you. When did you stop playing with strangers? But mom, they said he's your friend. He's my friend? He is my friend? Don't I introduce you to my friends? Did I introduce him to you? Mm, but... No buts! I don't ever want this repeated again. And you, if this ever happens, you no longer have a job. Hello, beautiful. I told you to stay away from me and you decide to get close to my daughters instead. Look here, Mr. Karen. If working with you, if doing business with you means having you around me and my family, then I don't want to continue with this madness. Stay the hell away from me and mine. And this should be the last warning. And if you don't listen, I'm going to have to get a restraining order against you. You see, you can get whatever restraining order. You can stop me from seeing you and those beautiful kids. But you can never stop my heart from loving you. I love you, Beatrice. 
I really do. And I'll do whatever it takes to prove that. What the hell is wrong with you? Which part of I am not interested in you or any other man do you not get? I am willing to wait forever and a day more if that what is going to take for you to be interested in me. But, but please, don't shut me out. Don't stop me from trying to win your love. You see, I'll never hurt you. I don't want to force you either, but just, just, just let me try. And if it doesn't work out, I'll take it as God's plan. Oh my God, you're sick. You know that. I don't know what to do about him any longer. He practically stalks me. Oh well, from everything you've said about this guy, Hmm. I think he's madly in love with you. Exactly. He's madly in love with me. That's where the problem is. It means his love for me in this is unstable. Come on, girl. You've had this, the misfortune of meeting two wrong guys. But here, the right one is standing in front of you. And you won't give him a chance. Marin, do you know what you're saying? Of course I do. No, you don't. I do. God, I just need a break. And you also need love. True love, they say, don't come knocking twice. But girl, yours is a miracle. First, it was Andy. And now, Karin. Don't let this one pass you by. Use your head. Girlfriend, I said use your head. Tell me, cousin, what did Beatrice do to you to warrant this kind of hatred? It's simple. She took away everything I treasured. I mean, the life that bitch is living right now is actually mine. I was Andy's girlfriend back then. He loved me so much. But he was busy. I mean, he was growing the company then and had little or no time for me. But for just no reason, the mother never liked me. And she did everything to separate us. She's a loose woman, she doesn't deserve your love. No, 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 it's not like that. My love is, it's not like that. It's not as you think. Mama, why did you bring him here now? Eh? Hey? Do you want to break his heart? And that was the end of my affairs with Andy. He traveled to Ghana the next week, got married to Beatrice. But unknown to him, Beatrice is my friend. I visited Ghana and uh, met with them. I tried to rekindle what Andy and I had, but he turned me down. 
He told me Beatrice is better than I am. He rubbed it on my face, saying she's his choice. And that was when I told myself, if I can't have him, she too won't. If I know my cousin well, you had a hand in his death, don't you? Oh. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. <laughs> right. Beatrice didn't stop there, you know. She came back to this country to rob her new wealth to my face with her children while I still remain unmarried. So, I have decided to take away everything from her. Starting with her kids. Oh, see, okay. Let's go. Ever, ever. Two. Ever, ever, one, two. Oh, lucky you. Oh, you won. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I should get lucky. So you think your way of winning me is through my kids? Wow. Honestly, the kids are just secondary. I love them and I enjoy playing with them. Whether you accept me or not, my love for them remains. Well, they're fragile, okay? And I can see they've taken a liking to you. Look, if you have no idea what you want, leave them out of this. They're not wired to be heartbroken. Hurting them is like hurting myself. And I'm very allergic to pain. So, what do you guys think about Karen? Yeah. Madam, <laughs> you asked me, you. Me, I, I feel it that bros Karen is a better person. Yeah. I also think say he love the girls and the girls they love him too. Because her mother, anytime when you all come here like this, hey, you all they play with them everywhere and they all they happy. <laughs> Ma, among all the people don't they come here. But aside bros, Marvin you know, I feel say this bros Karen, a better person. Hmm. Well, I I agree with her on this one. I mean, he has a way of putting smiles on our faces. In my opinion, I think he's a good man. Well, uh, if you ask me, I'll say you should give him a chance. I'm sure he will make you happy. No! We like him, Mom. Please, give him a trial. I'm sure he'll make you happy. I love him too, Mom. Please, make him our new dad. Appearance can be deceitful, you know. I don't know, but my hunch is telling me otherwise. Remember, Mom, you said Uncle Blab was a good person. And he turned out to be a bad man. So now, why are you saying Uncle Karen is a bad man too? No, Mom, I'm sure he's going to make you happy. Are you sure you guys want this? Yes, Mom! Okay.
I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. I was in Um, it's it's fine. Waiting for you is totally worth it. Okay, so I'll just um go straight to the point. Um, Karen, I don't know. I know this is not the right place or time or manner to go about this, but I honestly don't know any other way to do it. You proposed a relationship that, if all goes well, would lead to marriage. I thought about it, and um, I've decided to give you a chance. So, yes, I will be your girlfriend. Wow, this happened faster than I thought. You are headed for a good ride, Beatrice. <laughs> um, um, I'm just... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ladies, Ladies first. first. Oh yeah. So. Yes. Good wine. Now this is to a well taught out plan. Oh yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I actually want that bitch to lose everything she has. And for making me kneel down before her, oh my, oh my, that she would pay for. Yeah. Dearly, I, too. I totally agree with you. She will pay. To be honest with you, this woman has no idea what she has gotten herself into. And by the time I'm done with her, I promise you, I promise you, this woman will be contemplating suicide. Oh. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you for real. I want you to start with the children. Make them wish never to grow up. Do to them what their mother would never see coming. Come on, leave that to me, okay? I got this. Alright? Mm. My plans are still tactically intact. I trust you. Yeah, you have to. Come yes. Oh, yeah. My partner in crime. Yeah, you're my crime mate. <laughs> crime mate for life. Hey. Ross Karen, good day. Hey, good day, my favorite girl. Where are you going to? Hey. Bros, I just woke up quickly buy something for down the street. Uh, I'll walk now. Uh, work is fine, work is fine. So, uh, how's my girls doing? Ah, they're fine, everybody's doing fine. Jo uh, Johnita and Benita, they don't go for their extramural class. Oh, okay. You'll be saying, Cynthia, she know you're there on point, but you know your are at all. She know where. Uh, what is wrong with her? They, they say no malaria, they do her, but we don't give her something. Are you sure? You guys have given her some medication? Yes, yes. She'll deal with very uh, soon. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll go to the house and look after her. Like, you know, since she's there by herself, she can't be left alone by herself, okay? I'll go and nurse her until her mom's return. You don't want to deal point. No problem. Okay. Uh, Friday, we'll open gate for you. You might quickly buy something. Okay, yeah. okay. I'll see you soon, all right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. 